If you're a designer and you want to cut down your design time in Frame Art, I'm going to give you my five best tools for speeding up your workflow. Let's do it. First up, we got Figma to Frame Art plugin. So in Figma, I've got this template. I didn't design this. I just got this from the community. All you got to do is just select the frame of the landing page or the design that you have. Go to your plugins and you want to type in Frame Art and you can see you've got the plugin here. I'm going to click on the plugin and it should start to run. As you can see, it's copying all the layers. Once that is done, all I got to do is go back to my framer and I'm going to press Control V and it'll start to paste in that whole design that I've done. Boom, there you have it. Now you can see everything is intact exactly how it was designed. Um, you can see it's fully there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make sure that this is in the right layer. So I'm just going to bring this down like this. And then I'm going to go to my layers panel on the left hand side. And you can see I've got my desktop breakpoint here. I'm just going to drag this frame and bring it inside of um, that uh, layer. And now you can see when I click play, we've got the landing page website right like this. And all I got to do now is adjust the height. So I'm going to select the frame or the layer of the desktop breakpoint and I'm just going to bring my mouse to the bottom and make sure that the height is all the way filling the whole landing page. Design then press play and then there we have it. We've got the full website which is super cool. I think that's awesome. The second tool is actually adding custom color and text styles. Now all you got to do is I'm going to go to my assets. So at the top left, you can see you've got your assets. You can press Alt 3 to open that tab. And if I scroll down to styles, I can add text styles and color styles. I'm going to click plus here and I'm going to scroll down to color style. You can see you can create link styles, code styles, anything you want really. I'm going to type in green for the color. I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and I'm going to select the green color on the illustration here. And then I'm going to click create and you can see it added that color and we can see it's the green. I'll click create and you can see I've got the colors here. Now what I can do is click on any element or shape or object in my design and go to the right hand side and now you can see if I go to styles and go down to fill, I'm going to left click on fill once. You can see now my color style is at the bottom there and all I'm going to do is left click it once and we'll add that style or that color to my button, to my object or to my shape, whatever I'm using. It's literally that fast to do it and you can create heaps and heaps of color styles. I can add more. Maybe I want to add like a gray style here, call it gray and I can press enter and it'll create that one. And then maybe I want to change that. I can easily change it in a few seconds. And now we've got a gray button just like that. If we want to add a text style, I can go to style, create text, and maybe it's for the H1, the header. I'm going to click on that. Make sure I left click on that. I'm going to click on the header there and you can see we can change the font. Maybe we want something different. Let's go with this one, Jersey 10. And maybe we want the size to be like 80. And then we can just exit out of this. So now I'm going to click on this text here. Go click on the styles in the text section, as you can see here. Then if I go to H1, you can see it's adding that style I just created. And obviously I need to adjust the space because it's looking bad right now. But I can always go back into my style and then change the line space. Maybe you just want to go one or 0 0.7. And you can see in real time, it adjusts that spacing just like that. And there we have it. You can create as many styles as you like, text styles, color styles, saves you a ton of time. Next, we have components. Now to create a component, I can just select on a button or an object. In this case, I'm going to select this button. I'm going to right click and create, create component. You've also got the shortcut key, Control Alt K, which is super cool. And we can call it, you know, maybe main button, press create. And this is the component section. I can click home to go back and I can just double click to go back into that edit mode in the component mode. So we've got this component here. Now what I want to do is add a hover. So if I click this and click hover, now I can change this color of the hover state. And I'm going to change it to, let's maybe make it a bit lighter. Maybe you want to make it like blue or something. We can even do a gradient if we like um, as well. And maybe I want to make this a little bit more bluey, like blue or something. Let's go with like maybe green like that. 
cool. Now you can see now basically with this hover stay, it's saying that anything with this button um, variant one for this button it, and I hover over it, it's gonna have this green gradient. So if I click play for example, and I'm gonna scroll down. You can see now if I put my mouse over it, it's got this hover effect that I just created, which is super cool. Now the great thing about this is I can have multiple variants on top of this. So I can click on the purple zone here, which is a variant. I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna call this variant something else. So I'm gonna double click and we'll say, we'll just call it green button. This other button we can call it, you know, black button, right? So we've got green button. For this one, I'm gonna use the green style here. And I'm just gonna change the text color real quick. I'm just gonna go black. And now what I can do, I can also add a hover state to this button as well. So maybe the hover state for this one, we just wanna make it gray, uh, or maybe we wanna make it like dark, a bit lighter like this, a bit of a dirty lime color. I'm gonna go back, and if I select my button, go to the right hand side and go down to the variant section, you can see I can see the component says main button and component on the side here. I can left click this and change the variant to the green button. And if I click play, I'll go back to that button and you can see it's added that hover effect of that variant. So you can create, imagine the possibilities of all the variants and hover states and different um, changes you can make and multi with the different buttons. It's really a game changer, I think. Now the next time saving hack is using CMS. Now CMS is just content management system. If we left click on it, you can see you've already created a blog here. I can literally click add and I can make my own CMS. So maybe we want to call it, you know, team or something. I can add an item. We can add the title, slug and the content. The cool thing though, Framer automatically adds, adds the blog for me. And if I click on it, it's already added the title, the slug, the date, the image and the content of that blog. And it's just a good start because most sites use blogs, so I can just start off with this. I can click on edit field, I can change the field um, data if I want to, or I can go back. Then what I can do is I can go to insert, go to CMS collections and drag and drop the blog that we have here. As you can see, then I can expand it like this. I'm just going to change the size. I'm going to zoom in a bit. And you can see we've already got the blog here. Maybe I want to add some text and call it blog. And I'll just make this like 80 or something. And after just playing around with a little bit, I'll have something like this. So I can actually customize the space of this. I can make the image smaller and bigger. You can also select it. And on the, the side, I can choose how, ma how many items to show. So maybe I want to show six items, right? Or I want to show any two blogs or maybe just one blog. It's really up to you. You have full control. So maybe I want to show three blogs, you know, you can adjust the spacing, you can adjust the padding on there as well. And then if I click play, we've already got these blogs I can left click and you can see there, the blogs all ready to go. So imagine you have to add so much content, you can always just go into the CMS, go into the blog and I can click new item and then start to create another blog. Just as an example, I can start typing in here. Um, you know, we can say 08, 224. I can add an image in here. And then maybe I want to add some text, so just paste it. You can save draft. And if I click publish, and that, and I go back, you can see my blog just got added into that space. Boom. And that's how fast you can add content in less than a minute by using a CMS. So never do anything manually, make sure you're using uh, a collection. And then lastly, you've got effect presets. Now, for example, what if I wanted to animate this text? I can just left click on the text. I can do it for any object in Framer. I'm gonna go to the right hand side and what I wanna do is go to effects, click that and I can actually click text. I can also use any of these effects that we have. You've got hover, appear, etc. I'm gonna click on text. And on a P, we just want to leave it on blur. You can also change it up if you want. And I can change the effect. If I want the transition to be a bit more smooth, I'll click on ease. So it's a lot more smoother. And then all I got to do is click play and you can see the effect already working just like that. And then once you go through the, all the elements in the, um, on your website, you can create components and add a effect to a component. So it applies to everything, but I can, 
add another effect on top of that by stacking effects. I'll click the plus button and maybe we go on hover. Um, we want to maybe drop the opacity or something, or we want to scale it really big, right? Maybe we just go one, or you want to rotate it. Really, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to change this and we're going to maybe we want to adjust it just like that. And I'm going to leave that, press play. And now when I hover over the text, you can see it's got that effect. So use the pre-built effects in Framer. You don't have to make them crazy custom. It's already inbuilt for you and it's super cool. So I hope you enjoy these five essential tools to speed up your workflow. If you do want to try out Framer, you can use my code Jeremy. I'll put a link in the description below. You get 25% off your first three months of Framer. Definitely give it a go if you want to learn Framer and start building cool websites. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to watch me edit a Framer template, I do have this video right here where you can watch me edit a whole landing page and template for a client.